Good day and welcome to another edition of Outside Uni, where we'll be racing today from the Kenilworth Summer Course. Today's date, the 9th of December. We have eight races from um, Kenilworth. And before we look at races, just, um, just a few things I quickly want to touch on. First of all, um, what Outside Uni do is we do a, a form analysis and we give you the punter uh, outsider selections that you can add into your selections. And if those outsider selections arrive, we have, you will then get the benefit of a higher payout. We also offer a subscription service. You know that the Cape Town season is starting and um, yes, we have a good record um, on supplying uh, winners and selections on these big days. And I don't think it will be different uh, now, so what I'm offering you is um, till the end of the week, um, that will be till Saturday. If you sign up during the next few days, we will give you the subscription till the end of, the, uh, of January, which is the end of the Cape season. And we will, you can get that subscription for 400 Rand a month, or 400 Rand for now till the end of January where we normally charge you 500 Rand a month. So for 400 Rand, you can get all the selections from now till the end of January. Um, what we offer, we offer you the, uh, race by race selections. Uh, we offer you, uh, you know, affordable PA and pick sixes, trifectas and quartet selections. And they often do win or do go close. Yesterday, we gave you a 1% pick six, unfortunately. We just went out in the, in the first league, but the pick six paid over 350,000 Rand. So if we caught that 1%, that would have been a nice layout. But because I keep the uh, cost low, but if you added um, the, the one number that we missed in the first league, which would have probably pushed uh, pick six up to, I think uh, the cost on ours yesterday was 108 Rand. If you added that in, you probably would have paid about 150 and you would have had a pick six. And then shame our PA, we had it twice, but we went out in the last leg where there was uh, outsiders in the first three selections pushing that dividend up to three and a half thousand rand. So yeah, sometimes we do get close in our pick six and PA selections, but sometimes our quartet and trifecta leagues, they do win and pay handsomely. So let's have a look here at the first race. This is the first baby race in, of the season in Cape Town where well, they have a dash over 900 meters. Um, I don't give selections because it's, it's not impossible, but let's look at the betting quickly. The betting is as, for, as follow, number four, Dandilo, Dan, Dandilo Danilo, Danilovic, 18 to 10, two to one, African Rain, nine to two, Barcelona, Jack Tar, nine to two, six to one, Rod de Mott, seven to one, Seeking Peace, and Scratch number two. Yeah, number two would have been the first runner for Red Ray, but unfortunately, that's not, not a scratching. I think number number one is also a nicely bred South Falling Rain out of a Var Me. So probably that can uh, maybe run a bit. Here's the favorite of Water Winter by the Mary Winter, by the Mary Win Widow. Um, uh, that is the favorite. Um, and then here's a Jackson and another Var. Um, Rod the Mott. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with some of these breeding, so I'm not going to make a, a, a suggestion or a judgment here. But I do know sometimes the water winters, they sometimes can run early. So let's move on to race number two, where we have um, another maiden plate. There's a lot of maiden plates. Uh, there's four maiden plates or five maiden plates or four maiden plates in another race, all over 1,200 meters in the first part of the court. So let's have a look here at the, at the beating, race two, number eight. Um, Duchess of Success, seven to two. Red, Real Advisor, seven to two. Oral, six to one. Arc Lamp, seven to one. Bite My Lip, seven to one. Little Doe, 17 to two. Adira, 18 to one. And 20 to one and longer, the rest. Yeah, here my first selection is number 13. Today is one of those days again. Yes, Real Advisor, uh, Trippy by a Fordwood Me. 
he did. So that one run, and um, to, for me, this horse ran out nicely over the thousand meters, and I think over the twelve hundred meters it will suit it better. That run at twenty four point zero, fastest four hundred to finish. And for outsider selections, we're going to go to number number four. After the storm, I think number four after the storm has the potential to improve. Um, guys, I really apologize. I don't know why I'm battling again. We were scrolling. Um, I thought that problem was solved, but now it's back again. Um, there's also been dealing with the airbags, Karat, and Glacier Gold. Um, and I just got a feeling maybe the 12 on the meters might suit this daughter of dark marmalade a little bit better and probably even further. And then my other outside selection is number six, Bite My Lip. Uh, the Crawford stable, uh, the Crawford Rick stable are in form. And this horse improved from his first run to his second run, running also on nicely uh, with a 1200 meter at Kenilworth and can be involved in a finish. And just a few observations. Um, uh, what's the betting on uh, this Adderbury Lake? Um, just keeping, uh, I see this horse was bred to summertime, to our time, not to, um, this horse is from Great Britain. Um, now, I do know of some uh, races that I'm following in, in the UK. I often see this uh, Prancelot's uh, win. So keep an eye on this. It's getting minus four. So maybe they're just giving it, it a run, but it can, I think it can probably surprise. Just note number one, wife of wit, so he's a scratching. You know, other notable thing that I want to draw your attention to is um, number 12, Orange Bowl. This is also a Duke of Marmalade by John Cosby Me. Nicely bred. And this um, individual is a part owner, this Bjorn Neem, Neem, uh, his part also owns a lot of horses in um, the UK and um, there's one particular one, but now the name escapes me just now. I'll prob probably remember it just now. It's a, a well-known horse in the UK, which are running really well. So maybe keep your eye on that, but my selection still Number 13, Rail Advisor. Then we move on to race number three. Um, another maiden plate over 1,200 meters. And here the betting is as follows. Number two, Ayes Choice, three to one. Iris Morning, three to one. Captain Dizzy, six to one. The Bull, seven to one. Emperor's Decree, seven to one. Eight to one, Jamala, Jaimala. And then 20 to one, Woodsworth, and longer the rest. So in race three, my first selection is number two, his choice. Um, this was is improving, and I think also will run a big race today. I did recommend the Andre Nell and, and, and Grant when he had double on the second and third race. Last time out ran a, a huge race behind Shangan, um, and I think uh, was was just beaten on the line, but was finishing strongly, and I think can go one better today. Then outside of selection is number two, uh, number one, Captain Dizzy. Please note, this always ran against some winners last time out. Uh, Comedy Ding um, and Comedy Ding um, has won a future the other day. This was, this horse ran in as only as three races. But of the three races, he's only ran in a maiden plate once. The other two were all in small future races. And Yiri, Yiri Comedy Ding did win last week again um, uh, in the future. So that I think that enhanced Captain Dizzy's um, uh, uh, chance. And I would not discard this horse today, Captain Dizzy. My other outsider selection is number seven, which is a the Boo. This could de Gras by a uh, Holy Boo, me. Um, last time out, there was support for the jump at 13 to 10 after a good first race. Um, it says here no extra, but I think let's give the horse another chance. I think this horse looks like it can have ability and give it, let's give it another try. Empress Decree also also can um, improve. Um, they didn't run too bad last time behind Firefly. Um, and then, um, what else was there in this race? There was something else. Yes, here's another horse. It's not in the betting West Coast Pirate. But keep your eye out on that. Um, I think this horse is much better than his first run. Lost two links. He was green. Maybe a horse you want to include in the back end of your quartets, perhaps. 
So let's move on to race number four. Where my first, let's have a look at the betting first. Here the meeting is as follows. Galactic Star 53 to 10. Verdant Light, um, oh, please. Um, Verdian Light 4 to 1. Winter Beat 11 to 2. Glacier Gold 6 to 1. Eye Catching 9 to 1. Miss Millstream 9 to 1. Magnetic Dame 9 to 1. 14 to 1 and longer the rest. So here my first selection is number five eye catching now eye catching um if you see it ran behind capitiva really out of that there's two winners out of seven and it is getting a minus two and a half and i think i uh, catching i remember this winning eyes but you dancing she was quite fast won a few races in that time and i think number five eye catching with the minus two and a half today will go close my outsider selections is number seven, which is Winter Beat. Uh, Winter Beat also running dead and thereabouts. And, and, and um, I think one of these days that uh, he's going to find himself in number one box already 407 days since his last win, but has had five of the races and one win over course and distance. Now, my other outsider selection is number three. Um, Glazier Gold. Now, Glazier Gold won a maiden, and I think last time out, I won that maiden easily, came from behind, and I think the 1200 meters will be even more suited. And definitely, a host would look out one at a nice price of 10 to 1, running on well 25.4. So, do we do keep an eye on that? Number one, also not without a pre. I think um, can also run a huge race. Um, that run well, uh, the first run after the maiden, and can definitely be involved in the finish. Fidenian Light can also, with a re on board, Justin Snave, I think can also improve, can also be a runner that that is, that this kid can be involved in the finish. So let's move on to race number five, which is a um, 1200 meters, minute rate of 90. Class B, average men rated 86. Let's have a look at the betting. What now? Yeah, this is one thing I can't understand about technology. The one moment it works, the next moment it doesn't work. So let's have a look here. Yeah, I see today is one of those days where nothing is working like they should. It is so frustrating. We have the betting number two, Hyde Park, 33 to 10, Spiritual Wind, 6 to 1, Moon, Moon Rock, 6 to 1, Bernie, 8 to 1, Real Conquit, 8 to 1, Ticket to Ride, 8 to 1, 10 to 1, Dragon Power, Power Grid, 12 to 1. Words, words of words, your oyster 14 to 1, Alter Ego 14 to 1, and Brave Tiger 20 to 1. I think this is a very open race, and yeah, my first choice is number one, World's Your Oyster. World's Your Oyster is now running in a um, class B 86 minute rating. Now, if you have a look, you'll see that this horse has got five runs and three wins over this course and distance. You know, last time out, not striding out, but was also running in a much higher division than running now. And yeah, sometimes the horse does not run up to scratch, but overall, uh, she do tend to, or he do tend to run decent races. And I think Will's always uh, ready to win his fourth race today. Uh, definitely running down in class today and a horse that you need to definitely include in all your bets at that price. In my outsider selection years, I've got two of them, Brave Tiger. Brave Tiger is also a horse that's always there and thereabouts. I don't know what happened last time, but definitely before that was constantly running places and even managed a win in the process. So Brave Tiger can definitely be involved here in the finish. Do not discard putting all your bets. And then Power Grip. Power Grip is also a horse with a lot of potential. 
um, you know, um, this horse um, was uh, a while ago was still a 91. Last year, this time now it's come down to 84, but has also run against some really re useful opposition and can also win any day now. Watch out for Power Grid. He has won some decent races in his time, although it's already nearly 700 days since he won his last race. But he's definitely a horse that you cannot um, discard, can always dare and dare about. So let's move on to race number six. Where we have another Phillies Amaze, handicap 90 over 1,200. Computer full class B, average minute rate at 89. Here the betting is as follows. Number six, Walker Flame 28 to 10, the bar, Dark Crystal 3 to 1, on Captain Side 4 to 1, Major Attraction 9 to 2, Dirty Nelly 8 to 1, Bad Habit 8 to 1, Favorita 10 to 1. So here my first choice is number one, um, Dirty Nelly. Now you can see Dirty Nelly today is getting the minus four. She has run against Dark Crystal in his previous race against Boops, Boops, Booms a Daisy. And if you have a look at that uh, on the turnaround, has got the beating from Dark Crystal. Also on the runs through Road of Day, also have the beating on Captain's side. So two, uh, and she's better off in, in the weights. And also have a turnaround at number five, Bad Abbott, the runs behind, um, behind um, Rolling Day. So I think number one, Dirty Nelly. Also another factor that I that I picked up here, Dirty Nelly, as I had run 13 times for this course and distance, three wins, two seconds, two thirds and two fourths. So um, out of 13 runs, he was in the money uh, six, nine times. And I do feel this Jacobs is a very competent rider and Dirty Nelly today, I think, will be a big factor in this race. In for outsider selection, as it is, I'm only going for one, and that's number five, Bad Habit. Bad Habit also runs constantly. Uh, last time ran in a bigger future, but today I've got Solomon's minus two and a half running in the class, has got some collateral form lines with some of these horses in this race, and I think Bad Habit can run a huge race today. Uh, then we move on to race number seven. Race number seven is a military 78 handicap over 1,500 meters. Unusual to see the horse runnings over 1,500 meters here, here in Cape Town. Yeah, here the favorites, number two, Lions Head, 22 to 10, 53 to 10, Mach 4, Doppio Oreo 5 to 1, 11 to 2, Captain, Double Rainbow 8 to 1, 16 to 1, Socceroo, 16 to 1, Double Blaze, Nixon 16 to 1, 20 to 1, and bigger the rest. Now, yeah, let's have a look here. My first selection is number six. Now, as I said before, I was not very keen on tipping horses that had just won their maiden. But, um, yeah, I've seen subsequently that it's happening more and more. And today I'm going to go against my own beliefs, but I'm going to tip number six, Mark four, to win this race because last time out he won so easily. And look at that time, 23.5. 400 to finish, 22.7, 400 to finish. Port Agopian has won again. Look for, uh, uh, for Hounds. Top horse ran, I uh, think, second behind a very good horse of of Marshall. You'll see the seven runners, three win. 15 runners, three, three, three winners. Eight runners, one win. 11 runners, one win. Um, and, I've, and it says here, took over easily. And I think today, my this race, this number six today, is even my best bet of the day. I would think so. Uh, if you have a look at Lion's Head, I've been following Lion's Head since he came to the Cape Town. I've burned my fingers three times now, so I'm giving up on this horse. It just, it, uh, maybe the way he won in Durban, I thought, yo, this horse is going to be a champion, but he uh, disappointed me. And he's also have to draw uh, with a content, with a, a, a draw of 12, which is not to his um, favor. We are Mark four. He's, he's got a draw of eight, which is not ideal, but it's not as worse as number 12. So that is my my pick for race seven. My outsiders for this race is number nine, Double Rainbow. A soft falling rain by Ford with me. Man, I love that breeding. Um, I think this horse definitely today over the 1,500 meters. Look how this horse ran on, uh, uh, on the 1,200 meters. I think the 1,500 meters will sort, but unfortunately drawn thin. But definitely a horse that you need to include into your crowd 
in your cal in, in your calculations quartetla fixed selections. And then number 12, Dapa or Oreo. Uh, I've been following this horse and I think one of these days this horse is going to come to the fore and can, uh, I'm not 100% convinced it can win this race, but can certainly be placed. So maybe you want to include that in all your quartet selections. So then we move on to race number eight, which is the last race of Phillies and is 84 handicap over 2000 meters. And let's have a look at the betting. Here yeah, my bet, my big, uh, the betting is as follows: seventy ten pink tambour line, six to one catch a falling star, rewrite the stars, bold diva thirteen to two, Moroccan flame twelve to one, Rosalie runs twelve to one, twelve to one fine boss and fourteen to one and better the rest. Here yeah, my first choice is number four, which is um, rewrite the stars. Rewrite the stars has been running. Use raises uh, the last two runs, and I think might be due today to visit the, the, the number one box. Has been running constantly, definitely due for a win. My outsider selection is number one. My When I looked at the field, my first uh, inclination was to, uh, you know, put Cruz along as um, uh, my number one choice, but then I noticed she hasn't run over 2,000 meters and that, uh, you know, was a little bit, I'm not sure if she can handle the distance because if you have a look here, yeah, who's along has um, run against some more, far more uh, stronger position here. You've got a 95, 81, but all over longer distance, uh, shorter distances. But I do feel today, if she can have the, um, you know, handle the distance, she will definitely be in with a chance. And then just something I just picked up now, to say this sleek jet by jet master i'm sure earlier in this card i saw the same dam um, but i haven't had a look now but just something that i picked up now when i looked at it it will be interesting just to maybe go and have a look if you can find that but i think there is some uh, there is a, a sibling somewhere um and then my outsider selection is under outside number two moroccan flame this is an horse from Jeff Rutra, who comes from Gauteng. And I think this horse is going to find its feet slowly. Last time out, it ran, went to the front, and I couldn't understand why. Because it's, um, it was drawn four out of seven, but I was a little bit disappointed. I did tip the horse that day, but I was disappointed to see the taking the horse to the front. Although the day he won in the, uh, over 2,000 meters, it went start to finish. So maybe they would be hoping to do the same. But now again, just getting a little bit um, help from the jockey minus one and a half, and that could be, a, 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 you know, a sister horse. So definitely a horse not to leave out of your calculations. And quickly, just want to have a look here at the favorite number seven, Pink Tambour Line. The one is made in nice time, and then last time ran second behind Dazzling Sun. And I think will definitely stay the distance. So also a horse that you want to include can definitely be a big opposition to my selection. Number four, rewrite the stars. Baldiva, I think, that also run well and is also in form. Getting a minus two and a half can also be involved. So all in all, a very open last race. And that brings us to the conclusion of our um, preview. I hope I could point you in the right direction for a few winners. And as I always say, break a leg.